Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for August the 26th, read by Kirsty S. from the East Midlands in the United Kingdom. AA thoughts for the day. Change. How many of us would presume to declare, well, I'm sober and I'm happy. What more can I want or do? I'm fine the way I am. We know that the price of such self-satisfaction is an inevitable backslide, punctuated at some point by a very rude awakening. We have to grow or else deteriorate. For us, the status quo can only be for today, never for tomorrow. We must change. Change we must. We cannot stand still. As Bill sees it, page 25. Thought to consider. There is no progress without change. Acronyms. Pace. Positive attitudes change everything. Just for today, didn't look good. Tradition 5. Each group has but one primary purpose, to carry its message to the alcoholic who still suffers. I was soon sitting beside a big hulk of a man. Decidedly unfriendly, he stared at me out of eyes which were slits in his red and swollen face. I had to agree with the doctor. He certainly didn't look good. But I told him my own story. I explained what a wonderful fellowship we had how well we understood each other. I bore down hard on the hopelessness of the drunk's dilemma. I insisted that few drunks could ever get well on their own steam, but in our groups we could do together what we could not do separately. He interrupted to scoff at this and asserted he'd fix his wife, his partner and his alcoholism by himself. Twelve Steps and Twelve Traditions, page 152. Daily Reflections, Giving It Away. Though they know they must help other alcoholics if they would remain sober, that motive became secondary. It was transcended by the happiness they found in giving themselves to others. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 159. Those words, for me, refer to a transference of power through which God, as I understand him, enters my life. Through prayer and meditation, I open channels, then I establish and improve my conscious contact with God. Through action, I then receive the power I need to maintain my sobriety each day. By maintaining my spiritual condition, by giving away what has been so freely given to me, I am granted a daily reprieve. As Bill sees it, maudlin martyrdom. Self-pity is one of the most unhappy and consuming defects that we know. It is a bar to all spiritual progress and can cut off all effective communication with our fellows because of its inordinate demands for attention and sympathy. It is a maudlin form of martyrdom, which we can ill afford. The remedy? Well, let's have a hard look at ourselves and still harder one at AA's 12 Steps to Recovery. When we see how many of our fellow AAs have used the steps to transcend great pain and adversity, we shall be inspired to try these life-giving principles for ourselves. Big Book Quote For the type of alcoholic who is able and willing to get well, little charity, in the ordinary sense of the word, is needed or wanted. The men who cry for money and shelter before conquering alcohol are on the wrong track. Working with others, page 97. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. If we are still clinging to something that we will not let go, we must sincerely ask God to help us to be willing to let even that go too. We cannot divide our lives into compartments and keep some for ourselves. We must give all the compartments to God. We must say, My Creator, I am now willing that you should have all of me, good and bad. I pray that you now remove from me every single defect of character which stands in the way of my usefulness to you and my friends. Am I still clinging to something that I will not let go? Meditation for the Day The laws of nature cannot be changed and must be obeyed if you are to stay healthy. No exceptions will be made in your case. Submit to the laws of nature or they will finally break you. And in the realm of the spirit, in all human relationships, submit to the moral laws and to the will of God. If you continue to break the laws of honesty, purity and selfishness and love, you will be broken to some extent yourself. The moral and spiritual laws of God like the laws of nature, are unbreakable without some disaster. 
If you are dishonest, impure, selfish and unloving, you will not be living according to the laws of the Spirit and you will suffer the consequences. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may submit to the laws of nature and to the laws of God. I pray that I may live in harmony with all the laws of life. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Centre City, MN 55012. My name is Kirsty, and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952 through 2001.